what's going on guys it's your man jay will so i want to answer a question that i've been getting a lot of is about the zt z max pro's internal storage and can it be upgraded through adoptive storage well the answer to that is yes now i'll go on record and say that again i didn't i didn't know about this until someone commented about it letting me know that it can do adoptive storage so this is exciting so in this video i'm going to give you a walkthrough on how to do it if you decide to do it what you need to get and everything that you'll need to do to upgrade your phone because it comes with 32 gigs internal storage uh, but for some people that might not be enough now for me that's sufficient I don't keep very many things on my phone and in most cases I delete a lot of things if I have a long video I'll delete it there's no need to, to have it on the phone after I've already used it uh, but most people like to keep things on their devices uh, and you know it's their prerogative they can do that and, and I'll show you in this video what you need to get or what I'm using or what I would recommend and uh, how to do it so Get ready for a close-up on the ZTE Z Max Pro. Uh, let's upgrade this storage uh, up to 90 gigs. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to go ahead and do the upgrade of the storage internally on the ZTE Z Max Pro. So I popped in my SD card. You can see there's a message there that says SD card is inserted. So you can swipe down, and this it gives you the option for setup. And in doing so, you just select use internal uh, use as internal storage because if you use as portable storage it's going to basically um, just use it as a place just to store things it won't really do you won't be able to move applications or install applications on it so uh, let's go ahead and erase and format and we've seen this before with Motorola phones and HTC phones uh, very good option to have this is another reason why I tell people to purchase this phone Now I know I've seen in the comments or people going back and forth uh, saying you know this is a Metro phone well if you don't know Metro PCS is owned by T-Mobile or you know somehow they're the same entity they use the same network I'll say and these are basically T-Mobile phones they're just locked to Metro they all can be unlocked as I've demonstrated in several videos it can be unlocked so it's done and what you're gonna see here now you will I'll see a message here. I'll move later I'll see a message here where it says the card is slow or or it might say it's the card is slow Oh, didn't get it sometimes I get a message where it says the card is slow or it's not working properly so let's go look at my storage now that I've upgraded it now I have 90 gigs of storage total this phone comes with 32 gigs internal and I put in a 64 gig card so there you have it upgrading the storage uh, on your ZTE Z Max Pro is very simple I suggest using a, a class 10 uh, SD card that is what I have and, and sometimes even my class 10 uh, cards will give me an error message it'll say that it's uh, slow or not compatible but it still works I've even tried 200 gigs 128 gigs they all gonna, they're all gonna work and I think uh, I think another user uses a 200 gig uh, card uh, on theirs. I think I've heard or seen that somewhere, but it is possible. This phone may only be available on Metro, but like I said before, these are two T-Mobile phones. So this phone right here is super simple. I can't say it enough. If you if you do a port in where I live at, they give you a hundred bucks off in most cases, so you can pretty pretty much get this free. And then you just pay the $30 plan, so you walk out with a phone. It's paid for. There's no contracts or anything like that. Do the unlock. Don't pay the bill. The account shuts off, and you're free and clear. Or if you don't have a port in, pay the $99, pay the $30 plan, get the unlock code for $4, like I've said before on my channel. See that video. Maybe I'll link it to this video. And then you have your phone free and clear, and you've got band 2, 4, and 12 full access to the T-Mobile network and it works on T-Mobile. Now this one is unlocked. I'm using it on on um Metro right now because I just you know I paid the plan so I'm just going to use it for the 30 days even though it's unlocked. I'm just going to use it for the 30 days and use the data and you know just get my money's worth out of it. Nonetheless, um I would say grab this phone because the specs that it offers and the performance that it offers, the adoptable storage alone is just a fantastic fantastic deal. So there you have it. That's how you would upgrade your ZTE Z Max Pro. Um, I don't know what else to say. This phone is is killing it right now. Some people are calling it the budget device of the year. I'm calling it the device of the year. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have a Snapdragon 820. It performs very, very well. And I'm going to show you some performance tests against phones that have the Snapdragon 820. So you can see there's not much different. It's your man, Jay Will. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Spoiler.
this entire video was done with the ZTE Z Max Pro. I bet you didn't know that. This is the front camera on the ZTE Z Max Pro. Uh, yeah, it's a hot device. Get, get this phone. That's all I can tell you. I'm out.